Welcome into the Ram Truck Workshop here at the Rebuilding Exchange. I am here with Alex Ennerson. Alex, you brought a ladder in today. I did. Alex is gonna show me how to turn this old wooden ladder into a pretty popular type of furniture, a leaning bookshelf. Now, no Alex Ennerson project would be complete <laughs> without just tons and tons of tools. Yeah, I like to gear it up. Okay, pay attention, here we go. For this project, you'll need one wooden ladder, a chop saw and a jigsaw if you have access to them, Though, if you really like a workout, then you can just use a handsaw, a couple of clamps to hold everything steady, wrecking tools, a drill and pilot bit, one and a quarter inch drywall screws, a tape measure, an angle scribe, and safety gear. Here's today's victim. Victim. Which is a really nice kind of old fashioned eight foot A-frame ladder. So what we're actually gonna do is cut this poor ladder in half and just use the front rails. An old ladder like this one goes for about 25 bucks at the rebuilding exchange. They're old, but they're well made, and that makes them worth keeping around. They didn't screw them or bolt them. You'll see these are actually, these hinges are riveted. Oh, wow. So uh, we're gonna take some wrecking tools in hand and see if we can pop that rivet out All straight right. through the rail. Uh, this is gonna make some noise, and you, don't, you can't be afraid to really pound on it. Popped. Popped off. I get the rivets on the other side, and then since this ladder will turn into a shelf that leans against the wall, we want to get rid of the back part with the round rungs as well as the top. Most people, you know, you want to have a shelf you can reach to the top of maybe five, six feet. So we're going to measure off the bottom, see how much ladder we really want to use today. So we're going to make just a handsaw cut right here and right here to free this part of the ladder so okay. we can keep working on it. Sounds good. Alex Shh. keeps it simple with these first cuts, no measuring. We're just cutting off the section of the ladder we want to use for our bookshelf. All right, there we go. Basically, this is gonna lean on your wall, kind of like that, if you're facing it, and we'll just throw shelves to extend these steps. To clean up the top of our shelf and ensure that it leans flat against the wall, we need to make two even cuts, one on the top and another on the back. We'll do the top first, and as usual, Alex has a shortcut to getting an even cut. We could do this with math, but we're gonna cheat. Oh, okay. And, well, and use a piece of wood instead. Cheating at math is yeah. my strong suit. Alex clamps the ladder down and gets to work, marking where we need to cut. I happen to have found a nice little piece of scrap wood ah. that is gonna make a wonderful little uh, guide for us. So we're just gonna drop it in there and say, hey, we're gonna cut it about five and a half inches up. That's okay. what this measures. So let's drop it here, make a cut or make a mark. We'll take our triangle to extend that line around the top and the back, which is where Angle Scribe comes in handy. The Angle Scribe allows Alex to duplicate the angles he's marked on the inside of the ladder on the outside, without ever having to know exactly how many degrees he's cutting at. See, no math. And now we have a nice scribe line that we can cut to. A circular saw or jigsaw will knock out these cuts fast for you, but today, Alex is gonna show me how to make these cuts the old fashioned way without power tools. Looks like hard work. I'm glad he's doing it. Okay, so we made our first cut. We're just gonna go ahead and scribe the same line here and make that cut. Okay. Perfect. Keep it simple here on weekend workbench. Yeah. It's not called weekends with <laughs> geometry, right? <laughs> let's make a cut. I'm sorry, did he say let's? I don't know. But... Yeah, it's kinda just like, just let it, let it float until you feel the cut. <laughs> Move your hand real gently. All right. <laughs> We did it! But in the interest of uh, speeding things along and making our lives easier, we're gonna resort to power tools. I find it ironic that you went and grabbed the power tool after watching me saw through that. No, it's, it's, it's not like that. Oh, I suspect it is like that. I've got nothing against power tools. Alex gets set up to use his jigsaw for the next cut. Remember that your wall is back over here. Yeah. And so what we really want is a, is a straight cut here. Um, how do you figure out that angle? Well. You just take your same piece of wood and drop it right there. Ah. We're going to cut straight down that line, and that means that this is going to rest flush on your wall. Okay. So, let's make our line, sit that right there, bring it out just past the step, and mark your cut. That just gives us a little bit of a flush cut to, to lean against the wall. Now we just need to cut it straight. Exactly. All right. <laughs> and quickly, which and the quickly. jigsaw will do. That'll work. After making the same cut on the other side, we've got our bookshelf base ready. And now we just need some shelves. And when we come back, Alex is gonna show me the budget-friendly option to shelving. Shh. 